it wanted to shoot. Actually, yeah, you're right, it could. So it's going to make a shot with like three quarters cover. Which it will miss. Okay. Yeah. It would have needed like a double crit to even be remotely justifiably hitting. <laughs> okay. And then it is uh, Cassidy's turn. Cassidy is going to uh, step in here where she is going to take a hit from, or take a shot from the bow. Which, of course, crits. No. She's I was about to say, take I was, seven I was damage ask, total. I was going to ask you got any cover. Up to grab but wolf nope. form. Now that she can transform into wolf. Ooh, that's going to be a tight squeeze. Uh, come on, give me this out. So she transformed into a wolf. V1, which is right against the wall, would have also had a attack on it, which it can now take since Cassidy has made herself bigger. Actually, can it even grab her? I wonder. It'll try. It'll try to constrict her. It'll miss. Cassie then will try to bite. And player she and she will bite. Bite McBite. And she will hit, dealing eleven damage. And Nelson has to roll. Scrolly, scrolly, scrolly. It goes from. Those bites all have pack tactics, don't they? Yes, they do, but there's okay. nothing in range. Four pack tactics currently. Yep. Belana's turn. You're muted. I don't think there's anything in range right here, Ash. She do. Guess you're gonna have to move. Mm. You're missing a point here. Ow! Burp! Thank you. Okay. One T. Um, yeah. Okay. Let's see right here. All right, there. That's all I can do. I want to stay up ready for attacking if something comes within range of sight. Okay. Early turn. Well, he's going to move up there. Okay. And is going to attack a thing. Heck, you have an advantage. You have, like, super advantage. Yep. And I'm going to use, on the second one, I'm going to use a trip attack. Mm-hmm. And do an extra four damage there. And an extra six. And it's already tripped, so I'm not going to roll that. All right, then. Silas, your turn up. Okay. Mm, what do I want to do? Oh, I'm going to step up one. This is probably going to be dumb. Take another step. I'm going to take another step. Okay, then it's actually in two bags. 20... Okay, I'm going to reunite my good friend over here with a stab to the face. <laughs> okay. And she seems to be much more familiar to you now that you've stabbed her in the face again. But she's still standing, even as the uh, part of her face seems to be missing from that stab. Is she warming up to him? She's giving him the cold shoulder. Oh, uh, okay. Oh, maybe this will uh, help her out. And that'll hit as well, doing another two damage, and she has one note of bleed. <laughs> Jesus you, Christ. You like those 11s, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> Good thing they have really low AC. On the bright side, it's not as bad as it was last session, but I just brought, like, my majority of rolls were two. Just that everything was high because of more skills. Alright, so 35 movement for Azul as she runs over there. Azul will try to stab, stab with her lightning claw. Stab. Dies. Oh, cool. So you Zola's know? then going to mm. difficult terrain over this, and I think that's as far as she can move. Where do I get one of those? There, yes. And next up is Alana's turn. 
I think a lot of okay. a lot are just now playing chess. 15, 20, 30, 25. Oh, wait, I can't. I did say that. 25, 30. So she can get there. Yep. I think Lily and Cassidy have that one. So where is, there it is. The book. Uh, it hasn't been an hour since the last fight, right? No, it's probably been like 15 minutes at the absolute longest. He's hexed. Okay. Moving hex to her. Mark that you have concentration up, please. Sorry. Both of those will hit. You will deal 14 damage from that. Plus hex. 26. Plus an extra 9. Extra 9 damage from hex. As it kind of reels back, that's your turn, I believe. Yep. All right, and at this point, you hear... Does anyone speak Abyssal? Don't think I do. Let me double nope. check. Nope. Alana's like the only one that's questionable, to be honest. Dum, 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 Does the sword? No. I, the sword would not. The sword I've, speaks what she speaks. I've got Elvish. No. I've, got Elvish I've got Elvish and Undercommon. Abyssal, that... Infernal, and Celestial are not in her languages. All right, so you can... Lily and Cassie, the Malison, which is on the floor before you, yells out something in Abyssal. And the two piles of, snakes bo of snake bone start to rise. Oh, I can't see the thing. I can write down by the spell instantly. <laughs> It wasn't a spell. Alana knows that much. It was not a spell. It was more of an instruction. And as they do so, the one closest to Lily looks at her. Lily, roll a... Please tell me what's done. I wrote done, yes. Roll I'm, a wisdom save. I am looking at the malison. Does that matter? It won't affect it in any way. Okay, cool. You pass. You can feel your body start to stiffen a little bit, but... You're able to fight it off without too much of a concern. Oh no. The other one moves down to here. And it looks at Azul and Lily, and it opens up its mouth as well. And you can tell, as well as like the first one was casting a spell, this one is also casting a spell. This one is? This one is casting a spell right now, yes. Do you want to counter it? Or? I, I'm pulling it up. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Does Alana have any verbal spells left? And as it opens its mouth to try to cast the spell, you can see like some arcs of electricity around its mouth for a moment before your counter spell cancels it out entirely. The discharge just fading into nothing. Yeah, if we need to maybe think about having a wrist after this one. Okay. Oh, I'm out, so... Yep, and then the it is the actual turns. The Malison is going to spend half of its movement to stand up. It is going to feebly attempt to attack Lily and probably get killed in the process. Swing with its tail. It missed horribly. I'm gonna repost. Mm-hmm. Bigger. Mm-hmm. Uh, where's the repost? Is this, is this repost gentle in any way? It does not No, it's gentle. not gentle at all because <laughs> as she like stands up and like tries to slice at or coil Lily in its tail and misses, Lily just brings her great or, yeah, brings her great sword down about the point where the snake lower body meets the human upper torso and cleaves it completely in half. Nay. She seems to go into um, shock and falls over dead. I like the upper half better. <laughs> no um, offense, Chase. The other one. Yeah. The other ones, um, let's see, ye she's going to fall back a little bit. This one is going to do pretty much the same thing. I moved it badly, but it would move about that way. And they're both going to take a shot at Alana. First one will hit, dealing a grand total of 11 damage. Shield. What's your, what's that put your AC to? 21. Your AC is listed wrong for some reason. Yeah, it doesn't have my actual armor in, I don't think. Yeah, it was so AC, no armor. armor. Yeah, okay, I don't remember when that was. So it's fixed now. That's good. So you shield up to 21. The other one will take a shot as well, and we'll miss. So they both missed? They both missed. All right. 
And that should be all of them, so Cassidy's turn. And Cassidy's turn is going to involve her... Man, she's just going to have the difficult terrain over that, which she can do easily enough. And she's going to start biting some bone. Well, she is a wolf, which is a... Technically a and she will hit. Do you mean 11 damage? And it has to roll a... Yep, it's not immune to this, so it has to roll a strength save. And it goes prone. Right, next up is Falana. Alright, I'm just gonna... There, it's 45, I am dashing, so two, three. Yeah, I'm in Rome. I can't do anything else, though. So. Okay. Lily's turn. Lily is going to move over here. It's going to... cast Scorching Ray on... Uh, all three on the one that is not hexed. Okay. Roll it. Eesh. Miss, hit, and hit, dealing 12 damage as one of the Scorching Rays just goes completely wide, probably hitting this pillar right here somehow. The other two manage to hit their mark, though, catching her in the, um, catching her in the stomach and in the shoulder as she kind of reels back a little bit, taking a good chunk of damage. Okay. And I'm going to use the stopwatch to action surge. Okay. What do I roll? Uh, roll a d20. You'll be fine. Okay. I don't remember what it is, but I know that's fine. And I'm going to use the rest of my movement to come up here. And I'm going to smack at this guy a couple times. Okay. Ooh. Both of those will hit, and he will take... 19 plus 14 for 33, I believe. Just so you know, I am out of everything. Literally everything. Just have my swords. Yep. yep. Silas' turn. Whew. I was, re I was thinking, like, Jeeves, please do not deny me a bad sneak attack on that monster. Yeah. <laughs> I could have oh, no, just gone to cast, but still, I'll get advantage this way. <laughs> So you attack that <laughs> twice. What the frick? <laughs> you have an advantage, but you miss both times. <laughs> oh, man. So I'm, che I'm checking something. <laughs> oh, you, you hit one. <laughs> Jeez. Azul, oh, meanwhile, will go over to the other side of Cassidy and try to punch this one because Sorry, that I, makes I need, sense. Uh, just give me a I'm going to step out of the ring for a sec. <laughs> All right, we'll see you when you get I'm, back. I'm joking. I just need a drink. So we're going to lightning claw, lightning claw. And chill flurry, so kick, kick. First claw will miss, everything else will hit. So it's going to take 9 plus 12, so 21 damage. And that was the last key point that she had from the amulet. But she's fine. <sighs> All right. Next up is Alana's turn. All right. I'm going to cast this over here to hit both of these. Okay, what's the AOE on that? Five foot? Okay. Yeah, it's just five Let foot. Let me roll some dex saves on the pure bloods. Dex, dex. First one passes, second one fails. First one takes four damage. Beautiful damage on second that. Second one takes eight damage. And, and the, the one that's hexed gets the 1d6 extra. Don't you have to attack it with the, act, or the target spell? It takes damage. Anytime it takes damage. Okay, fair enough. I wasn't sure on that. So the one that was hexed is going to take an extra three damage. But it's still it's alive. Still... It is right. still alive. And then she's going to move up here. And then she's going to spend her last two sorcery points to use that as a bonus action. Oh, okay. wow, that was terrible. Yeah, that was these pretty two. terrible. So they both have to roll their saves. The first one fails and just dies. There's your hex gone. The second mm -hmm. one will pass and take three damage. 
and does not get pushed back. So like, as you do your thunder clap, like you're bringing your hands together. One of them just goes flying back into the wall. The other one holds their ground as the first one falls back limp and dead. Yep. All right, next these turns. So the first one is, they see they're kind of in a bad position. The first one is going to, first of all, stand up and not be prone anymore, which meant Azul had advantage. I don't think that affected anything. It's going to stand up. It's going to attempt to cast another spell. Have any capability of stopping that yet, or no? I don't. I am out of level threes. I think they're both out of threes. All right, oh. so you can now stop this. Casty and Lily will need to roll a dexterity save. Holy. Okay. Both of you pass it. Good job. Okay. So, as this happens up, it looks in that direction. Open its mouth. A bolt of lightning soaring through both of you as it impact, um, impacts the wall. The arc's just kind of going off. You're able to dodge mostly out of the way, and instead of taking 28 damage, you both take only 14. Ouch. Lightning bolt. Lightning bolt. That's, that's what you used to do dragons, though, too. <sighs> Get the little girl. Mm -hmm. <coughs> yep, and that's going to do the same. Lily, Cassidy, and lightning. Alana. Does she yeah, get half cover or something from this? She's going to get half cover, so she would get better. Um, actually, I, she'd have three quarters cover, so she's going to have a really good save. That uh, I crit. So, so I you're going to take quarter, quarter damage, damage, essentially. And they rolled the same freaking damage roll. So 14 on a pass, and everyone passed. Uh, Cassie failed, actually. <laughs> so 28, 14 on a pass. You take 7, Alana. And... I keep hex. Mm-hmm. Yep, you keep hex. And while you're doing all that... Lana, you see another snake-armed one burst out from around the corner and rush right at you. Oh, yes, there totally isn't one of those. <laughs> <laughs> I said there may or may not be. <laughs> he was using a token of one, so he clearly had one somewhere. <laughs> yeah. Oh, ho, 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 it grits on its first attack. Oh. I, I probably wouldn't use that then if it crit. Come here, come here, yeah, little girl. Yeah, it, it crit. So come here, you're going to see? take... Yeah. 9 piercing damage and 15 poison damage. That is a total of 24. So con check DC 20, or not 20, DC 12. 12. Yep. I'm pulling it up. Save. And you pass wonderfully, and with its other um, snake arm, it goes in to try to bite you, and this one it misses. It misses pretty horribly. Yeah. This woman is going to take a step up, is going to take a shot at you with her... Um, short bow. And we'll crit! Oh, oh my god, I'm probably going down. <laughs> You're going to take 12 slashing damage and 9 poison damage for a grand total of 21. And, and Konchik. And I'm... you're fine. Yep. Are you down? Cast up. I'm at 2. She's still up. <sighs> oh. Uh... God damn it. Cassidy will take an attack of opportunity as she bolts over this as well to the difficult terrain. So the Bonaga will have a attack of opportunity as it tries to bite her on the way out. And it successfully bites her on the way out. And you can see Cassie kind of limping away as she takes 9 piercing damage and 17 poison damage. Oh my god. Cassie doesn't care though. Yep, She's going to drop her form right there though. So move that back over there. She's going to be here. And she is going to attempt to heal Fla uh, Ilana a lot. Ten Your level wounds stone. at level four. Is this this is literally, HP. this is literally I need an adult. I am an adult. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. All right. Wow. And that's all of her turn. So Falana's turn. You know what? I hate to do this. It's undead. And you know it's undead. You have a sunblade. Does this count as flanking because of Lily? It yes. counts as flanking because essentially you're going through the center of it, or you're going from one corner to the, or one side to the other. I, it's flanking regardless. Alright. 
I want to ride my bicycle. Ride that bicycle. 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 Like we get like an hour of music at work before all the customers come in, and I've got so much Queen on my iPods. <laughs> my. <laughs> God damn it! Well, well your roll is still borked, but you crit. Bork. So you're going to do. It does. It's not weak to radiant. I don't think. No. So you're going to do D8, 15. Right? Uh, you crit, so it's going to do double damage on that, and I forget what that is. I mean, look. It's another two D8. Thirteen I... damage. <laughs> All right. So it's going to do thirteen on top of fifteen for twenty-eight damage. And this thing looks like it's damn near dead. Damn. Looks... I... Damn. I won't be. I won't be changing to my dwarf and mine that character then anytime soon. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you don't know. This place ain't done yet. <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, Lily's turn. I think it might be a good idea after this to maybe take a little bit of a rest. But for now, I'm gonna hopefully kill the snake. Snake. I don't know what's wrong. Yep, that will hit. And that snake, as you bring the great sword down, you actually chop its skeletal head right off, and the rest of the body just kind of falls to pieces, the head no longer moving. It's dead. I'm going to move over here and repeat the process. Mm -hmm. That one will also hit. And this isn't quite as strong of a hit, Jeez. but you still do a decent bit of damage. Look at those rolls. Two, 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 one. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> that was almost minimal damage. Very close. All right. Um, I think that is everything I can do. 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 Silas' turn. Okay. Uh, so 15. 30. And 70 step. Actually, I'm going to step once. I'm that'll miss. Fast, no, you're going to advantage. That'll hit. Don't that'll hit. Don't you that'll dare. Hit. Don't you so dare. That'll take 10 damage from that, and then 11 from the sneak attack. It's still alive. Don't you take yeah. this from me. <laughs> 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 the second attack with the dagger wounding will hit as well. Good job, you fixed it. We'll hit as well uh, with the dagger wounding, and it'll take 4 damage, and it is wounded. Does it wait? Does everything thing... before it bleeds. It's not actually bleed, it's just like necrotic wound. Okay, okay. I was thinking, like, how? <laughs> and <laughs> it's Azul's turn now. Azul is going to start kicking. Kick. She's out of key. Says smack, me. smack, sugar, smack. Why isn't she using her lightning claw? She's going to kick, she's going to claw, and then she's going to kick with her bonus action. Oh, she bouched. She and has to be advantage. honest, the claw doesn't have any pluses on it, so it's not like that affects. I know I hit the kick. Again. Oh, no, she didn't bouch because she got advantage. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah, she has advantage. So all of these, well, the last one won't hit, but the first two will. And 14 damage she does between the kick and the slash is enough to put the bone naga down once more. She kind of put, um, kicks its head clear off and catches it on the claw. It's dead. Can Lily catch the head? Azul caught it on her claw. Oh, I see. Yeah. You yeah. have to take all my fun, Azul. <laughs> uh. You want to fight a giant dragon turtle? I don't always enjoy your kind of fun. <laughs> Not always, sometimes. Alana's turn. Uh, light just for fun. Going to do that so that the five foot radius will hit both of these two. All right. So bonus so nice action, move ten feet this way. No react, no attacks of opportunity. Yep. So deck save on the pure blood. She's dead. Deck save on the Malison. He save fails it. He me. takes ten cold damage. All right. Malison's turn. You didn't run nearly far enough unless you meant to go further. Oh, right. I, <laughs> <laughs> I should have been that kind, but... Uh... Yeah, it's going to go for the more immediate threat, so he's actually going to move down here. And then he's going to try to attack Cassidy with both of his snake arms. Snake arm. Hit. Takes seven, dam seven piercing damage from the fangs and five poison from the claws. Fight again. Hit. Six piercing, five poison. 
Cassie's not doing too well, but he can't do anything more. Cassie's no third. No one's doing very well. <laughs> <laughs> no one's doing pretty well, but you've gone through a number of fights with only a short rest, so Cassie's turn. Cassie is... Oh, Cassie is going to do a thing. She's going to... I gotta go through and do Cassie's spells properly at some point. I don't have a lot of her spells in. Uh, she does not want to take an attack of opportunity again, so she's just going to disengage. Hide behind people who have more health than her. Actually, she would have gone this way to be... She was here, so she would have disengaged this way to be in Alana's way, so it can't run towards Alana again. It's Alana's turn. Alright, this is probably going to be suicide. I'm probably muted. No, no. No, you're up. I can hear you. Yeah, I thought I was muted, but I was muted. All right. I am going to move. Right there. All right. And I kind of want to save my first level spells. I'm probably going to need them here in just a moment. Firebolt it. Better. Better. He's a snake. I'm going to frostbolt it. Yeah, you know no that the cold problem. doesn't do any more dam any extra damage, so. No, but it also prevents. Uh, it has wrong. a separate. Oh, just, time wait a minute. Yeah, it affects movement, so. Yeah, it wouldn't be a bad idea for that reason. All right, so that will hit, and he will take ten cold damage, and is slower. <laughs> okay, <laughs> that it for your turn. Yes. You know what? Is he within 30? Within 20. I'm going to action surge it. Because we did have a short rest. I'm going to move. Yeah, I don't think you used your action surge yet. Right there. Actually right here. And I'm probably going to be risking quite a bit with this. Thorn Whip. Okay, that will hit pretty effortlessly. He will take 10 piercing damage, and he gets pulled 10 feet closer. Aye. <laughs> oh, that's really? nice. That's 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 going to help. Um, can I get here? That was how much movement? 20. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, because the pillar would have been difficult to get over, so that'll work. Yeah, I wasn't sure if the lip was difficult. I think both would have... Anyways, um, fiery great sword with advantage. You went, upsta you went upstairs and then jumped over it, so it's fine. Yep, fiery great sword with advantage. That will hit. Yes. The first <laughs> yep, both of those attacks will hit because that, of advantage. And as you kind of, yeah, is both the, and as you like run up behind <laughs> it, you bring your great sword down first on the right side, then on the left side, or right side, then on the left side, cutting both of its snake arms off, and it, like the uh, other Malison, falls over in shock, dead. Thank you, Falana, because if I didn't have flanking, I was going to have to rec reckless that one. <laughs> <laughs> and as you all take a second to look around, you don't hear anything else going on currently in this room. It appears as though combat has ended. I think maybe we should probably rest. <laughs> Seconded, Cassie will say as she raises her hand. Um, if and anyone's... just switching to a smaller room which we could actually contain. Possibly the entrance <laughs> to this temple. That's a good idea. Yeah. Before we go, though, I'm going to look up here. Which, uh, Azul will like kind of raise up a hand real quick and she'll say, as we ran by, like, um, me and Silas ran down the halls, I glanced down one of the side rooms and it looked like it had bedrolls and such in there. Azul, come with me quickly. So go and check it out. Yep. Well, I'm not worried about the bedrolls. I mean, I could easily make arrangements around that. I'm going to yeah, help yeah. out Alana down here and check out this Could, stuff. I'm going to quickly investigate the room. Go ahead and investigate. So I don't trust, don't trust over here. Anything here. Um, it looks to be of like a podium where somebody, like a statue was supposed to be, though there is not one there currently. Right. Game As you else. look, like, you can look around a little closer. Um, Creighton, you don't notice anything particularly odd about this room. It appears just to have been where the uh, purebloods were supposed to sleep. And Falana and Alana, as you're investigating this area, you discover that there is one particular thing of note. There is a... what is it? I should have it written down. 
there is a necklace. It looks to be like a necklace of prayer beads, actually. There are a number of ones on it. Um, there's six in total. It seems to be uh, three pairs. All right. We're going to hold on to this. It could belong to a monk, but uh, I'll just make sure before we do anything with it. Alana, let's take a rest before we explore anymore. Yeah. Lily's going to also try investigating, probably. Falana will blow her roll out of the water. Mm hmm. Yeah, probably. <laughs> There's the entrance. This way over here. Yeah. No, I was just, no, just looking at the doorways and, well, that is literally the entrance. Yeah, that's literally the entrance. Uh, room I ran through. Yeah. Um, so, oh, they need to take a rest in this room? Yeah. Yeah, I can see one off the exit. Is there a door? Simple enough. There is no door, 